Are Google's new AI overviews the future of search, or just another step towards Skynet taking over? Yesterday, Google unleashed this shiny new feature, promising to revolutionize our search experience. Essentially, they aim to give you quick, comprehensive answers to your most complex questions without you needing to click through to actual websites. During Google's developer conference, we were bombarded with AI announcements, but the AI overviews, formerly known as the Search Generative Experience, SGE, a name as clunky as it is ominous, seem poised to make the biggest splash. Picture this, you type in a convoluted query and instead of sifting through links, you get a neatly packaged summary right there on the search page. It's like having an annoyingly efficient personal assistant who knows everything, but somehow you still don't trust them. According to Google, these overviews will save you time and boost your satisfaction by giving you swift, accurate, and contextually relevant answers. Imagine you're a student, a researcher, or just someone frantically searching for how to remove a wine stain from a white carpet before my landlord finds out. Google's got your back with a well-organized answer so you can get back to pretending you're an adult who has their life together. Now, the massive AI-generated elephant in the room is what happens to the traffic that used to go to those original content sites? Spoiler alert, it plummets. Fewer clicks mean less revenue for publishers who, unlike Google, don't have a multi-billion dollar ad empire to fall back on. This could lead to a barren digital wasteland where content creators are left scrounging for ways to maintain profit. And that's not all. If AI overviews start aggregating information without giving proper credit, it's like stealing someone's homework, rewording it slightly, and then acting like you did all the work. This could discourage content creation entirely, leaving us with fewer voices and less diversity in the information we consume. Sure, the user gets what they want now, but with fewer creators, brings less content, and that will inevitably lead to a bad user experience. But Google's ultimate vision here is to become your very own Star Trek communicator. Yes, you heard that right. They want to be the omnipresent, all-knowing assistant that can handle anything you throw at it. Forgot your anniversary? Google knows what gift to buy. Lost in the middle of nowhere? Google's got the directions. Need to figure out what that weird rash is? Go to the doctor for God's sakes. But this grand vision comes with a hefty price tag. Increased dependence on Google means less competition and innovation. And let's not forget the ever-looming privacy issues. Google will need lots of your data to make this work, raising the ever-present specter of Big Brother watching your every move. Of course, Google claims they'll prioritize ethical considerations like transparency, fairness, and user consent. But let's be real, when has any tech giant ever done something purely out of the goodness of their heart? As site owners watch their traffic and revenue slip away, the future of the web teeters on a knife edge. Will Google find a way to balance its own profit with the livelihoods of countless content creators, or will they just continue their march towards total information domination? As far as we know, and have no choice, Google's AI overviews is the future of search. We're just along for the ride and forced to sit in the back passenger seat, like an Uber ride to a destination wedding in the woods. Sure, there will be cake and an open bar when we get there, but the ride there won't be without worry.